Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have something very exciting for me. I got some happy mail from my friend Pam, who is Colorful Mind One here on YouTube. I will link her down below. She is so sweet. We don't live too far from each other, just like an hour, hour and a half. Um, we've never met in person, but you know, we've chatted online and she actually bought um, one of my pie pin cushions recently, which was so sweet. And uh, she's just such a nice person. So I was so surprised yesterday this came in the mail and it was wrapped so pretty. She had some nice fall paper on the outside of it. I took it off because it had our addresses. So, um, but this is the inner box and I wanted to open it with you. So thank you so much, Pam, for sending me this. That was so nice of you. I really, really appreciate it. Totally unnecessary, but I'm excited. So let's take a look and see what Pam sent. She sent this beautiful box of goodies that is presented so nicely. I love this fall shred that you included, Pam. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's go with the card. And it says Jen, and the back has oh, a cute little bow. That is so cute with the sticker to keep it closed. So let's open this up. And it looks like you made this envelope. Very nice. And that's the card. Oh, a little fall, a little fall card. It says sweater weather so pretty she popped it up on foam cut it out of gold brushed foil paper a nice fall background the same as the envelope and this is a beautiful flower that you made oh so nice i love the different layers and then you added some bling on the inside and some little pearly flat backs and it's all layered up oh that is so cute i love this card let me just read it quickly it says, hi, Jen. Happy fall. Just a little crafty goodness. Hope you like it. Your crafty friend, Pam, Colorful Mind One. Oh, I do. I love it, Pam. Thank you so much. All right. So we've got that card. And I'll move that over to the side. Fall is my favorite season, you guys. Um, I know it is for lots of people. So, yeah, mine too. So let's take a look at this first. Oh, my gosh. This cute roll of seals that says, Thank you for supporting my small business. Oh, that's awesome. I will definitely be putting these on my Etsy packages. Thank you. That is so cute. I love the craft paper and the foiling and the little hearts. Oh, these are awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There are so many beautiful things here. Okay. Let's start with this. Okay. This is a cute little altered box that it looks like you covered with fabric. Look at the little trucks in the background. And it says, have a cup of cheer. And we have a cute die cut cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. And you added glitter to make it look like foam. Oh, that is so cute. And then we have all oh, that little... I, I know this gnome sticker. I have it too from the Dollar Tree. Oh, they're so cute. I haven't used mine yet just because they look so pretty in the package. So thank you for sending me yours. And oh, a cute orange pumpkin behind it. And then there are some leaves that you stitched. And you, oh, another leaf too. This is from Hobby Lobby, right? I think I have that one. Oh, just love it. And the bling around, another leaf. That is so cute. Wow, what a great idea to cover these with fabric. I never thought of that. And then you added some of that crinkled uh, seam binding that matches beautifully, that nice teal color. So pretty. Okay, let's look inside. Oh, yay! It says, happy heart. Oh, my gosh, it's so cute with the little cup with the um, wood lid on it. That reminds me of Ray Dunn. I have some mugs like that. And it says, thankful with stitching through it. Oh, cute little heart stickers like like smoke. That's a great idea. And I love the yellow foil or yellow glitter background you used to. So many nice layers. I really like that. And look at all these bows, you guys. Oh, man. And look, this one's a teal shaker bow. It looks like many shaker bows. Okay, let's take a look at them. So let me move this over a little bit. So we have that one. And then, oh, awesome. Like the inside of them. Yes, and then you put some, see, you glued individual sequins on the bows. That is amazing. Thank you so much for doing this. It really will save me time. Oh, look at this. You like, oh, you wound them and put sequins through that. That is a great idea. I never would have thought of that. Oh, amazing. Don't you love getting inspiration from other people, you guys? And look at this shaker bow filled with little sequins. And what are those little... They're like teeny square diamond dots. That's really cool. 
These take so long to do. I have, I think I have this die set or a similar one and cutting out the foam and the acetate and gluing it, it's just, it takes a lot of work. So I really appreciate this. And look at the cute sequin mix on there, in there and the beautiful paper you used. Wow, there are so many in here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Because, you know, when you're making a project and you have to stop to make a bow, sometimes you don't feel like it. These are pre-made. I'll be able to just grab and go. More of those uh, wound with the sequins. Oh, I love this. And, oh my gosh, you put gold paint pen around the edges. See that? Awesome. Great idea to finish it up. And there, you used tool again for that shaker and then used a little, like, cloth what is that like some sort of cloth flower with bling on the inside or a bling on the top I was just looking on the inside there's bling there too oh that's beautiful I really love that and then this one you put glitter on the out like stickles probably on the outside gold stickles great idea and I love that you left the middle blank so I could just customize them with some bling when I go to use them oh look at this one I love those little shaker bits you used those diamond, uh, square diamond dots. Can you tell me where you got those? I really like them. And then here's another tool one. It's got a clear bling on the inside, on the, on the center. You know what I mean. Oh, and it's got little fruits on the, uh, on the inside and circles. What fun shaker bits. Oh, this one's pretty. Also with the gold paint pen around the outside. And then you wound the middle with some floss or thread. That's genius. Never thought of that. Oh, and look at this one. That paper is really cute with the pumpkin. I like that a lot. More thread. And then some of that pretty shred. Thank you so much, Pam. These are beautiful. I, I love every single one of them. That must have taken you so long to do. And I appreciate each and every one of these. There are so many. Thank you, my friend. Okay, let's move these over so we can get to the next box. So nice. Okay, and now I'll take this out and then move the box out of the way just so we can see everything. And I'll put the pretty bow box over here and the labels that I love and then the pretty card and the envelope. Okay, so let's move on to the last package. This, it's like, oh, she made me a suitcase. Oh my gosh. A cute, well, let's take a look at this beautifulness. It's got buckles that she stitched. Can you believe the work that went into this? And beautiful gold uh, paper for the buckles. So nice to use gold. And you made me a pumpkin shaker that says choose happy, right? Choose happy, yes. And then some beautiful shaker bits. I love your sequins mixes. You can combine bling and sequins and diamond dots. It just makes it really so interesting. And you put enough in, but not too much that you couldn't see the background. Perfect. Oh, and this sticker, I had this too from, um, was it from Target? Right? I love it. And you added, oh, look at that belt um, leaf in the background with some huge gold sequins. Beautiful. And you, you did stitching in the back too. Oh, I like that stitch you used. That's cool. Really pretty, like pink thread. I just want to look around this. And you paper piece this whole thing. This is amazing. And you made a handle. I'm not, this must be like a cut file, right? I don't really know too much about them because I don't have, you know, a cutting machine like that, an electronic one. Look, there are hinges on the back. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so to open it, I assume you take these out or let's see, is it Velcro? I don't want to break them. Okay, yes, they just pop right out. Awesome. Genius, genius. Okay. No, I just want to be careful. And look at the handle. There's little blings on the side to, like, hold it down. I would love a suitcase like this in real life, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. There's so much in here, you guys. Oh, want my tripod. Of course. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. Oh, <gasps> this is so pretty. Let me look in this pocket first. Look at this. Can you guys see it? Yeah. This pocket, there's some lace on the outside. And it's got, like, this faux zipper here. And those uh, pink 
pumpkin stickers from Dollar Tree. And look at this tag. Oh my gosh. It's got like a little urn with pumpkins in it and bling and well, like gold leaves and um, puffy leaves too. And it says fall with circle stickers. And, oh, you are just a master of layering, Pam. And then there's this orange uh, seam binding too. Oh my gosh. I just want to look at the back just to see. Okay. It's blank on the back. I just wanted to see if, you know, she put her information on there or anything. This is so pretty. I love this tag. It's got like the uh, cutout circles there and then some notches on the side. That's really neat. Beautiful. And it's really nice and thick too. You layered it. You layered it up nicely. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to hang this in my craft room. My favorite season, and it's got pink and teal, and it's just lovely. Oh, I love it. And my friend made it for me. And oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's just go in order. Look at this cute canvas bag that Pam put on these beads. I love these beads. Oh, it looks like Halloween-y beads. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> Who would it be, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are beautiful. Where I think I've seen the are they like coasters? They are, right? But you could totally use these in crafting too. Oh, these are awesome. These would be um great backings for like smaller rosettes or oh my gosh. You can uh poke a hole in there with the crocodile and make a tag out of them or ornaments. I love it. And I love black and white buffalo check. I decorate a lot with that. So thank you. I love those. Those are amazing. Okay. And I know there was something else in here too. Yep. Ooh, little flares. Yay. These are so cute. Look, it says flower shop flowers. Oh, did you make these? And there's a little um, flower one. You must have made these, right? Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. Oh, and there's a bunch more. Look at this one. Cafe. Oh, so cute. Speaking about rosettes, these would be perfect for that. And there's a cute little bicycle. Ah, I think Pam knows I like pink. <laughs> there's a little envelope with flowers coming out of it. And this beautiful flower. Oh, these are so nice. Thank you. And I love this little sack. This Is this one of the ones from Dollar Tree? I have a pack of them that I haven't used yet, but I think it's a different design. But I love this. I love the black and white stripe. Okay, let's move that over so you can see. Oh my gosh, I'm just in awe here. Can you guys see this test tube of beauty? Oh, you sent me some of the square diamond dots. Thank you. You must have read my mind. Okay, look at this. It's layered with all different shaker bits. First on the bottom, there are the gold leaves. I think those are from, well, I've seen them at Michael's, so maybe it's from there. And then there's white ones with little flowers and teeny little uh, balls and flower, uh, yeah, smaller flowers or stars. And then there's like a cream color with those square diamond dots and... Yeah, those are all, I think they're all square ones. Awesome, I'm so excited. And then there are some orange circles and looks like just circle or uh, triangle. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know my shapes. And then we have some, oh, there's like dark pink flowers. Love those, they're kind of iridescent. And then there are some light pink diamond dots, which are awesome. And there's some seed beads in there too. Excellent, oh, perfect shaker mixes. And then look at this chain around the um, top of it. And it looks like you wire wrap this beautiful bead with the two gold seed beads. And there's a beautiful little pinky mauve pumpkin with gold trim. And then a purple bow also with gold. That's a great, I look at it, she made it perfectly sized so it stays on the lip of the test tube. Perfect. And then for the lid, uh, it looks like Pam wrapped some of that like glitter um, glitter tape from Dollar Tree, right? I have some of that too, I think a different color, and that is the best stuff. If you guys can find it, pick it up. And then, okay, then there's this ring of pretty like iridescent pink bling with then um, like an amber colored giant gold bling flat back on the top. That is awesome. I love this idea for sending shaker mixes. Thank you. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's keep going. And then we have this cute little embellishment pack that says warm and cozy. 
let's look at this. It's got, okay, oh, it's a dangle. And it's got bling, like a flat back, um, kind of like a button with some bling stuck in there. And then you made a little, a little dangle with a little leaf um, sequins that you punched a hole. Or no, it had a hole, right? And you just put a jump ring through. I love that pine cone. That's beautiful. And there's a leaf. And what's that? Just like an orange iridescent sequin that you put in there too. You are so creative. I love this warm and cozy ephemera. And then that's really cute too, that puppy orange star. I love that. And this is such a cute pocket that you made and you stitched with that pretty, um, that looks like orangey thread and beautiful flowers inside. Thank you. I am so excited to have bows and flowers pre-made for my projects. And I love that red foil paper there. Isn't that pretty, you guys? See how it glows like in the light? There it just looks kind of like flat and then whoo, it's red, shiny. And then there's some glitter paper in the background. I love the plaids. So many layers, love the bling. And it's present, presented so beautifully. Look at the back. Oh, that's so nice. You've, it's so inspiring. You guys, there's more. Okay, look at this envelope. And it's, it, you made it have some really nice thick plastic. That's beautiful. And it comes with this um, cute gold clothespin. How cute is that? And I love how you made the bag topper too with that pretty, maybe like a punch for the, uh, for the edge. So nice. I'm looking at the outside first before I look at the beautiful rosette. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to leave it closed now, but we could see through it. That rosette is so pretty. I don't know what dye you used, but I love it. And you used a bottle cap with a cute pumpkin inside, some cute ephemera, and buttons. You know I love buttons. And you colored some of those wood shapes and put them on there. Oh, and that tool you used, um, it's got like the copper leaves on it. That's so pretty. Perfect for a fall themed rosette. This is gorgeous. I, I love the colors you use, Pam. So nice. And then, okay. Oh my gosh. I think, oh, maybe this was stuck on here. Was that there? I don't know, but I'm going to put it on there. Okay. And then we have, oh, look at these shaker pies, you guys. I did not get this die, and I kept wondering if I should, and I didn't. And now I don't have to because I have some embellishments made with it already. Thank you. Yay, look at them. They're all filled with cute shaker mixes. This one's with green because it has a green background. See all the different blingies in there? And this one has a yellow background, so she's got a yellow theme mix. And this one's pink. And you used pretty pie color uh, paper for the crusts. And this one is just fun colors. I have that paper too. That's from a Halloween pad, right? And look, green whipped cream. How fun is that? That one looks, kind of reminds me of a watermelon with the um, white icing or crust on the, on the side. And this one's very folly. And this one's just pink, which I love. And you made another pretty bag topper with the ed corner punches and a pumpkin, a cute little puzzle piece. And you stitched it through the leaf. Some cute yellow bling. Love the pumpkin paper and that background one. This is so cute. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say thank you, but too bad because I'm just so thankful. And then this is the last set of embellishments, the candy apples. And these are so beautiful. I love the papers you use for the apples. That green iridescent one with the stars, that's really cool. Where'd you get that? And this one is orange and it's got like iridescent diamonds, some like with lines through them, some without. Can you see that? Yeah. And then you made really cute little caramel or yeah, caramel shakers with different shaker bits. Look at this one, you've got carrots in there and, and uh, strawberries, that's so cute. And then this one has kiwis and little flowers and they all coordinate with the color of the apples. Pretty bows and I love the stick that you use there too. Now I know that's from the dye, but you use paper that perfectly looks like a stick. Excellent, and the bows are so pretty. Nice little shaker bits inside. And this is a gorgeous bow. She used some embossed paper and then put a beautiful piece of bling on the inside. And then there's that Hello Fall. Oh, I have these two. They're from Target, right? Those chipboard pieces, love them. And then you stitched again, you like folded the paper. Oh, I gotta do that. That looks so fun. 
and then some pretty blings, some flat backs to add some texture and some shine. Another beautiful bag topper, and that's the back. And everything is in this so cute briefcase, suitcase. I'm just overwhelmed. Thank you, Pam. I oh, This just means so much to me, and um, I appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship, and I'm so glad that you sent me all of these things just it means a lot to me and i can't wait to use them they're perfectly my taste and uh just to know that you made them for me means a lot so thank you friend and thank you so much to everybody who watched um i will leave pam's information down in the description box just in case you're not a follower i'm sure you probably are but if not go ahead and uh subscribe to her channel she makes some beautiful projects and she's a very nice person um also. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. And I'll be back soon with another crafty video. Take care. Bye.